Recently, experiments and calculations have been successfully performed that confirm the appropriate design of ETA's shielding concept. The experiments were performed under the leadership of Mike Lochlin from the ETA System Analysis Section in cooperation with the Italian Fusion Association, ENEA. When ETA operates at full power, it will be generating 500 megawatts of fusion power and this is equivalent to 400 megawatts of neutron power. At the same time, only a few meters away, we have the magnetic coils at very low temperatures. We have to protect these coils from the intense radiation from the plasma. To do this, the scientists and the and engineers in the blanket group and the vacuum vessel have designed the shielding to protect the coils. It is the job in the nuclear analysis section to determine if the shielding is adequate to protect the coils. In the latest simulations that we carried out, it seemed to indicate that the shielding wasn't quite good enough and the coils would be slightly overheated in the full power shots that ETA hopes to do. However, we wanted to look more carefully at these simulations, so we asked the team at Enea in Frascati near Rome in Italy to carry out an experiment to check our computer simulations. There they built a mock-up of the inner wall of the ETA vacuum vessel and irradiated it with a very well understood and very precise neutron source. They measured very carefully the nuclear heating in the TF coils using tiny foils of metal. These foils have very low levels of radioactivity. In order to make these very sensitive measurements, these foils had to be taken to the Grand Sasso Low Counting Laboratory deep under the mountains in Italy. At the same time, computer simulations were made of the radiation behavior in this mock-up. So once the experimental measurements were complete, and the computer simulation of the mock-up was finished, the results were brought together to be compared. We found that the computer simulation was very accurate and in fact slightly overestimated the heating in the coils. The outcome of this experiment is that we now know that our computer simulations are very precise. We are therefore very confident that the heating in the TF coils will not be excessive and we can go ahead with the design and the building of the ETA machine.